Good evening. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and today is October 11th, 2022, and we are live. If you can let me know if you can hear me, that would be great. If you're watching the live, if you're watching the recording afterwards, so sorry. Okay, I can see the video now. Oh, what did it just do? Huh. That's weird. Oh, I can see y'all now. So we've got Melissa, Jean, uh, Patricia, Mary Catherine, Lois is here, Danielle. Okay, it sounds good. Perfect. Um, let me share the link really quick. So copy and um okay we are live boom how are y'all doing it is officially dark outside i don't like it Hi Kathy, you were work you were busy at work today. We missed you on our team call. We're going to be making some changes. Did you see my little test on Zoom? Oh, did you lose me? Did something happen? I think it's still live, right? There's just a um a big lag. Can y'all hear my fa uh phone? Can y'all hear my fan? Okay, let me chat, pop out the uh, chat box real quick. If you are new, let us know that this is your first live stream. We like to say welcome to everyone. And um, for the ladies that always tell them welcome, thank y'all so much. I appreciate that. Sometimes I don't see all the comments, so I appreciate you guys welcome welcoming our new people. So tonight we're going to be making two projects. I hope you're not in a hurry. Um, David is still out of town, so it's just me and Bella. And we're going to make the Christmas version. Let me switch this screen around really quick so that you can see my desk. Okay. So um, this was week nine. Okay, it looks like my lighting is a little wonky wonk. Does this make it better? <coughs> I think it creates more shadows. Huh. Uh, let me see if I can hit the uh, brightness a bit. How's that? That looks a little better, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks better. I think. <laughs> okay. Um, Y'all can see my hands. Oh, wait, I'm going to put my face in the corner for you. I finally figured out what I did wrong the other day. Um, okay. So this was week nine. And look at here. Ooh, isn't it so beautiful? I just love it so much. There's a little bit of a glare. If I turn my lights off, then it'll be really dark. So this we made it a one inch uh, wider. So in this one, we could hold three of the miniature Reese's. In this one, it will hold these. Uh, these are really yummy. If you've never had them, I order them on, online. It's called um, Wild Blueberry and Pistachio. It's like a breakfast bar or fruit bar. Um, the way I found these was uh, when we flew, I think it was Delta, earlier this year this was in our snack box and they have a couple different flavors uh, this one's really 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 good uh, the other thing that fits in there is and I also got these in that same snack box David and I really love snacks um, so these are apple and mango fruit bars there's no sugar in these no added sugar so for those of you that are diabetic uh, it's a healthier choice for you than chocolate. The ends kind of stick out a little bit. You can fold it like this because the packaging is 
longer than the actual fruit. So if you place it in here like that, then you don't see the wrapper at all. And that's the same thing with this. The wrapper, I folded it and put a glue dot so that it wouldn't stick out the side. So you can do the same thing with these. It'll also hold other candy, but I like showing different candy because I kind of show y'all the same thing all the time, right? So we're going to be making this one. And then if you guys caught me um, Saturday night, I did a, um, a live video and I assembled my paper pumpkin. <laughs> But I'm laughing because I rewatched the video later. I'm so sorry. That was very painful watching me trying to figure out how to assemble that box. Once I got it, it was fine. But those first few minutes were painful. Thank goodness there is a fast forward button um, on YouTube. So if you don't like what I'm doing at the moment, you can fast forward it once the live video is over. Okay, so... I remade this with my very own cardstock and paper um, for those of you that did not get the paper pumpkin kit. It's super cute. It, I think it was a fabulous deal for all the boxes that we got. Uh, but I remade the box just using regular cardstock. And this holds, um, I put a, y'all know I sew, I sew a lot. Um, so it holds a pack of quilting pens. So after we make this one, we'll make this one, okay? Isn't that so beautiful? I just love it. Now, we'll do some housekeeping notes or some commercial breaks in the middle. Uh, any questions before we get started? Oh, y'all are saying you love chocolate. I know, I love chocolate too. But there's a lot of people that's actually allergic to dairy and allergic to chocolate. Uh, I can have dark chocolate. Well, let's just let me admit here. I do cheat every now and then. <laughs> Jean says it wasn't painful for, for, for her on Saturday. Thank you. I'm glad it wasn't. I felt a little foolish, but it is what it is. Okay, so the measurements are going to be on the screen in just a minute. Um... Give me a second. Measurements. Here we go. Okay. They will be on the free PDF. I will have I will have to say, I'm not sure it's going to be on my blog tonight. If it's not, y'all will get it tomorrow. I'm so sorry. I did everything I could uh, to get ready in time to go live, but... <laughs> lots of distractions today um yeah i packed a lot in today so i'm gonna take the measurements off the screen now there we go okay so we have a lot of stamping to do we got to stamp these guys all the accessories the hat the scarf the bow tie the bird the greeting so i'm just going to start stamping uh, Cynthia, I will have a template for um, this box. Yes, I already started it. I just haven't completely finished it. So it will be posted on my blog tomorrow. The picture of the project, all the measurements. Um, yeah, so tomorrow. I've really tried to have it done by tonight, but I, I couldn't. I'll, I'll <laughs> Y'all won't believe this, but I figured out how to make it. And then I wrote down the wrong measurements. And then I guess I threw away the correct measurements. <sighs> Goodness gracious. What can I say? We're using the Snowman Magic Bundle with the coordinating dies. And here's my little my basket of stamps. Oh my goodness. Your granddaughter is on the, oh, that's so exciting. So Cynthia said that her granddaughter is, they're on the way to the hospital. She's on her way. I got chill bumps with you saying that because um, Olivia is four weeks old today and she will be a month old on Thursday. Can you believe it? A month old. Okay, so I'm stamping the greeting first. I probably over-inked it. 
because I forgot that I re-inked my ink pad last week. So sometimes that really gets it very wet. I love this set too. Okay, so we have to leave enough room for the greeting to die cut that out. And look, I went ahead and did that. So let's see if I can stamp that within the circle. I, I was trying to save some time, but you get me to talking about Olivia and um, yeah, everything goes out the window. I went to their house on Sunday and I held her for two hours. Two hours. It was fabulous. I didn't want to let her go. She almost slept the whole time. I fed her um, three ounces. Um, and then she just crashed hard. Okay, so we're done with the snowman. Uh, now we have to stamp the little bunny. I just love this stamp set. And we're going to stamp his face. Okay, i got to bend over and see. There's that one. <laughs> and now this one. Okay. We got to stamp the top hat. Is there a bad glare for y'all? I'm almost wondering if I need to just turn off my overhead lights. Is is the is it a really bad glare? Okay, so that's all the stamping for with the memento ink. So we're gonna close that one up, and then we're gonna get the pool party ink. Pool party, real red, and early espresso. I wonder. Um, Cynthia, do y'all already know the name? Thank you. Did y'all see the video I posted on my um, on my personal page of the video of Olivia? If somebody will remind me, I'll I'll bring up my phone and show those of you that are are not on Facebook. I swear, I watch it like five times every day. It is the cutest little thing. Okay, done with that one. I have to say, when I was holding her the other day, though, uh, Chase turned on um, Fellowship of the Ring, and I sat there and uh, was holding her all that time, and man, I sure got sleepy. I told David, I said, I had to go home because I was fixing to fall asleep. He's like, well, you should have just kicked back the recliner and took a nap. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not that comfortable right now with her. I would be terrified that I would drop her or, uh-uh, I'm not, not going to be taking a nap while I'm holding the baby. I mean, yes, back when I was sleep deprived when my kids were little, you had no choice but to take a nap on the recliner. But as a grandparent, we get to go home. <laughs> we get to leave them with their parents, right? Okay, I'm done stamping. Now, before I proceed any further, I'm going to put my images back in here because I don't want to lose them or get ink on anything. Um, mainly, I don't want to lose them. Remember a couple years ago, I lost a snowman's arm? <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Okay, so we're going to... Um, so we have to do a lot of die cutting, and we're going to be using the stamping, cutting, emboss machine a lot tonight. Not just for die cutting, but we are also embossing our vellum. So we're using the Wintry, Wintry 3D. Is that the right measurement? Yeah, it is. Uh, so we're going to emboss both of these pieces of vellum, and then we've got to die cut all of these. Now we don't have to do this one because I've already got that one, so... There's that. I went ahead and die cut the trees. 
Um, all of these, with the exception of the circle, they're all in the same die set. Okay, so uh, just the stylish shape dies is the only one that's not in this set. Okay, I have myself an extra in case I messed up. So let's get the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Slide all this over so that I don't damage it. We'll do the embossing first. Okay, I missed. Um, did um, Cynthia? Did you did you share the name? Do y'all know yet? I know people kept asking us, and they waited uh, until the second day. Okay, so I'm going to use a plate number one, and because this is a 3D embossing folder, I'm going to be using plate number four, which is called the specialty plate. Okay, so here's the, um, this is, there's two uh, embossing folders in that package, and um, we're using this one. Uh, Lisa, good idea. I already did it. <laughs> Great minds think alike, right? Yeah, I have. Um, I already have even the bird done, the little birdie. Okay, so let's run this one through. Okay, so there's that one. Look how. I don't know if you can see. Just look how beautiful that is. Oh, I love it. So elegant. And then now this one. Okay, that one's done. So now we're done with plate number four and the embossing folder. So we're going to get the dies. Um, these are all the dies that we're using on this project. On the next project, we're going to add in the, the layering, the scallop circle. Okay. So I'm going to get the rest of the pieces here. And if you need a drink of water or a snack break, we're going to be cutting out quite a bit, and I'm not going to go fast because I don't want to mess up. If you don't place these just right, they don't cut out just right, and then I'd have to do it again. So, okay, there's that one. Okay, now, snowman number one is complete. Now we're going to do snowman number two, or snow woman. I'm not sure which one is which. Uh-oh, that one shifted. Woohoo. See, you got to be careful. Okay, let's try that again. What I like to do is put the plate on top and then smash it and then roll it through. Smash it, smush it, smash it. Hi, Gail. Thank you so much for that gift you sent me. Um... It's sitting up there on the kitchen counter. Thank you. That was so nice of you. I'm just, I still need to look up what it does. Okay, we're going to cut out the bunny next. Do I have the bunny die? Did I forget to bring that one over? Did I lose the bunny? Do y'all see the bunny? Oh! <gasps> I don't see the bunny die. Oh, 
Um, I'm fixing to freak out. You know, once you lose a die, you're forever traumatized by losing a die, right? Oh, I found it. Thank, you know, I don't know if I've ever showed y'all this. So, the, well, remind me to show you in just a minute. So when I make my projects... I start one of these tubs and I put everything in the tub like the minute I use it I put it in that tub and so that way when it comes time to write the supply list everything's in the tub and I don't miss anything well I threw the bunny rabbit in the tub but forgot to put it on my magnetic sheet or my magnet sheet what is this called yeah whatever this is oh sorry about that I almost Oh, I was getting scared that I threw it in the garbage. Not that I couldn't go through the garbage and find it, but who wants to do that? Plus, I'd have two garbages to go through. Um, my recycling container and my real garbage. <laughs> so Karen says, traumatized by losing a guy. I said a die. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. Hey, I guess we could also be traumatized by losing a guy, right? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I do have some jokes for y'all tonight. I'm going to tell them later. After all this. Well, I could technically tell you now because I'm die cutting. Um... What do you call a snowman on roller skates? <laughs> the bunny just jumped in the tub on its own. <laughs> um, what do you call a snowman on roller skates? A snowmobile. Okay, here's the hat. Now we'll do the um, stocking hat. I'm going to try to do two at once now just to save some time, but sometimes when you do two, things kind of shift, and then you mess up, so especially when you're doing all these littles, like, you know, if something shifts, then we're going to have to stamp it all over again. I think he's in there. Oh, that's what it said in the trans in the in the subtitles or the closed caption. That is hilarious. I'm sure that it mis uh I'm sure it says a lot of wrong things. Oh, and I did cut the bird wrong. Grr. See, sometimes it's just best just to do one at a time. The stocking hat turned out pretty good. The bird did not. He did not survive. So, we're going to have to redo him. I warned y'all, um, I'm not moving in a hurry tonight. We're just kind of, oh no. I dropped a die. Huh. Well. Which one did I drop? The bird, right? I dropped the bird. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him because it went under my desk. And I cut that one crooked. Grr! No, I didn't. It's fine. Um, we're going to use this bird after all, since I dropped my bird die. 
Somebody remind me at the end to get my die. Otherwise, when I sweep, I might not catch that I've dropped it. Okay, we're almost done. Bella's like, I'm out of here. Too much noise. Um, I'll tell another joke. We have three more times to go through this thing. What kind of ball doesn't bounce? Yeah, what kind of ball doesn't bounce? A snowball. Okay, the scarf is done. So now all we have left is his hands. And actually, I was supposed to stamp that two times because we got two snowmen. I should have done one of these off camera. Okay. These, um, let me get back on my stool here. These little uh, dies are so much better than the old ones that we had. So there's that one. Hopefully that's straight. And then we'll do this one up here. I think that's straight. No, I dropped the die. It's in the floor. <laughs> okay, hand number one and hand number two. No, the little birdie die went under my desk. But there's no carpet in here, thank goodness, so I should be able to find it. Those things bounce. Whether it's on floor, hard floor, or carpet, it bounces. Yeah, raise your hand if you haven't ever lost a die. I think most of us have, right? Okay. If all goes well, this should be the last thing we run through here. Because I did, I did all the uh, cutting and stamping for the second project in advance. Oh, I have a magic wand. I got two of them. Uh, I think the Fat Quarter Shop sent me one and um, Reb's Fab Stash sent me one too. So I do have little uh, magnetic wands, but they're in my sewing area for my pens. I should be able to find it pretty easily because I, I say that. I'll have to let y'all know. Okay, we're done. I can put this thing up. What'd that take? Okay, Melissa says she's never lost a die. Wow, that is amazing. It's no fun. Okay. Yep, it's the little birdie that's missing. Okay, let's get all of our pieces in here. So like I said, we made this an inch larger. The first thing we're going to do is, well, no, let's go ahead and score it. Oh, by the way, the the template for this project had the measurements wrong in the arrow section. I don't have one with me right here. Um, hold on. Goodness gracious. So, I don't have the exact template, but I'll show you what I mean. So, you know how I do the arrows down and across? I had them reversed, so the measurements down in the body were accurate, but 
this these two numbers on um, week number nine were wrong. I did correct it and I updated the blog post today. And um, so this template will be accurate when I get it posted. Sorry about that. When I went to make this one today, I realized that I had messed up. Okay, so on the nine inch side, can y'all see that? There we go. Oh my gosh, there's spam on here. Grr. You know, that's so rude. People are so incredibly rude. Get out of here, spammer. We don't want you. <sighs> okay, I think I've deleted all that. Um, I, I've deleted all of it. Will y'all let me know if you see another one? You blocked them too? Um... I can't even believe that they're allowed to even be on YouTube, right? Okay, the spammer has been blocked. That was we went we acted uh, pretty fast, didn't we? Let me pull up the measurements. Talk about a distraction there. That's it's been a while since I've had a spammer. Okay, on the nine inch side, we're going to score at one and three quarters, two and a half, four and a quarter. And five. Yeah, and if you're watching this after the fact, you didn't have to witness those uh, those spammy comments. Now we're going to round the corner with our retired detail trio punch. And we're just going to round the top. This box just doesn't look as good without the rounding. You don't have to round it if you don't want to. Now I'm rounding the top of the vellum, and we're going to go ahead and attach this. And I'm going to use uh, glue dots in very specific uh, places. <laughs> so Karen says the spammer dating chat is for those of us that have been traumatized by losing a guy. I'm sorry. You're right. My, my words may have attracted that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am cracking up. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put glue dots in spots that it won't be so noticeable that a glue dot is there. Um, feel free to use the comment or the chat box or the comments to let us know how do you attach your vellum when you use vellum? I think I've always using glue dots. I, I've always, did I say that right? What did I say? I've always using. Did I say that? I, I've always used. This is called the Wintry 3D. And it is in the annual catalog. It is just so, 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 so beautiful. Isn't it? Now we're going to take the greeting and we're going to add it up here. And we're doing it before we assemble the box because you need room. Um, we're going to assemble all of this before we, or we're going to add all of these before we seal up this box because part of it is below. Okay. Did I word that right? <laughs> they do need to get alive, don't they? Okay, I'm going to use my uh, Stampin' Seal Plus to add the greeting. You can use whatever you want. And I think, let's look at my sample. It's all the way up here at the top. Because if you don't take it to the top, then the word year kind of gets covered up a little bit. And then next I'm going to add the little um, tree. I'll tell you another joke while I'm doing this. What is a um, what is a snowman's favorite Mexican food? A burrito. <laughs> I'd like to have a burrito right about now. I'm starved. I had um 
I had a can of tomato soup for lunch today and some crackers. Of course, I haven't had dinner yet. Um, and now this one. Okay, hold that there for a second. So, sponge dauber and dab some glue slightly. That's interesting. I've never done that. Huh. Okay, now, this is going to fold. Normally, I say fold on the score lines, burnish with your bone folder. Um, I skipped that step tonight. So now we're going to put our adhesive on there and it's going to fold up just like, well, come on Angie. Okay? Wait, can y'all see? There we go. So I'm going to put tear and tape on this part right here. Okay, remove the backing. And then now we want to add our second piece of vellum right here. And if you'll notice the vellum measurements, um, we cover that entire section. Like normally when we add designer series paper, we make it a smidge smaller. But with the vellum, we're not. We're leaving it the same size. Okay, so the same thing, I'm going to take a glue dot and uh, place them in areas where it won't be so noticeable. And I have to tell you that sometimes when I use vellum and I emboss it, I forget which side is the embossed and which side is the debossed. Uh, way back when I, um, when I used to make a lot of um, cards for the family, I remember um, embossing on vellum. Gosh, I want to say like forever ago. Um, like, let's see. Let me think about this. When my kids were in middle school, and Chase will be 30 in November, he says, don't don't remind me. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you got a new baby. It's okay. Okay, so this goes here like that. Smush it a little. Okay. Now we have to add the rest of the pieces. I love, love, love this embossing folder. I mean, love it. This is a embossing folder that I will keep for a very long time. Yeah. Okay, so let's add... Where's my little bunny? I found the die. I cut him out. Did I lose him? Well, I'm just a hot mess tonight. Seriously? Where's my little bunny? Here he is. He was hiding. I gotta do some coloring first. So we're using Pool Party, uh, Pumpkin Pie, and Flirty Flamingo. So we're just gonna give the little bunny some light Flirty Flamingo for the Snowman, we're going to color their noses with light pumpkin pie. And uh, I guess I really don't need the pool party, do I? I don't know why I got that out. Yeah, who knows? I need dimensionals. So one on the back of the bunny, we're going to do two on the back of the snowman. If you try, if I tried to do one in the middle and it just kind of made it um, unstable. So I'm doing two. And then now we want to use some liquid glue with my take your pick tool to add the arms 
Okay, so this one's going there. And this one's going here. Okay, so whoops. I'm putting glue on the other side. Hopefully y'all can see that. Whoops. Okay, that one's done. <laughs> I should have got a bowl. I normally do when I have this many pieces. Come here. Okay. <laughs> okay, a little bit. Um, we have to add a few more things. Let's see. We got to add the... Oh, I know what the pool party was for. It was for his hat. There we go. His top hat. And then now I'm just going to put a little bit, um, a little bit on that. And this is going to go on this head. <laughs> and then this one's going to get the stocking hat. And then the scarf. Okay. And the little bird, he could use some surgery since I messed up die cutting him. We're just going to trim it just slightly. And we're going to add him with a little mini dimensional. I'm laughing at your comment, Tammy. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay, we're going to add the bunny first. I don't want to make sure I don't get any liquid glue on it, though. Um, so the bunny goes here. And then I call this one the Mrs. Oh, goodness gracious. They're holding hands. And then now the little bird. And then we have embellishments to add. And then we'll be done with this one. Let's see. Let's add this one up here. So our embellishments today are these adhesive backed stars. And I'm going to take one. Where did it go? <laughs> Don't know. Okay, one's going here. And then one over here. Oh, I forgot to do my commercial break. Grr. Hey, I didn't get the adhesive. So we're going to stop for a second, and we're going to do some commercial breaks. Um, I meant to do it a while ago. Are, are my people still here? Yes, y'all are still here. I'll make this really quick, okay? The um, 
the YouTube Chick Candy for last week. Here are the winners. Every one of them have claimed their prize and they have shipped out. So all three of our winners for last week, um, they've been mailed. They've been put in the mail. Don't forget tonight is the last night to enter to win my blog Chick Candy. And all the details are over there. Tonight's uh, YouTube Chick Candy is number one is the, let me turn this off. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is the Special Moments Stamp Set, along with a pack of mini Stampin' Dimensionals. The second one is Perfect Pomegranate Stamp Set, with a pack of mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And this is my last Halloween drawstring bag that I've made like this. So this is the last one, unless I make some more. Um, so the way you enter to win is leave a comment on the video after we're done with the... Um, the video okay the chat box doesn't work after the live video so I ask you to leave a comment on the video on YouTube and I'll draw the winner Thursday morning or winners three winners one more commercial this is my current host code if you use this host code place a minimum $50 order before tax and shipping you can choose paper snips or black dimensionals with a pack of linen thread okay okay we're done with commercials. And if y'all have any questions, oh my goodness gracious, the spammer is back again, right? Are y'all reporting them? You know, I don't understand why... Um, I don't understand why he hasn't been completely blocked by YouTube. Okay. So I've officially blocked him and reported him. And uh, I say him, it could be a girl. Whoever that person is, go on. Back to my project, my really cute project. This has nothing to do with what you're trying to promote, you crazy person. <laughs> oh, I can't believe spammers are here tonight. It's been such a long time. They're so evil. Okay, for those of you that are watching this afterwards, I'm so sorry. When we were live, we had a spammer come in here and start posting all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Stampers are not interested in what y'all are trying to sell. Let me just say. Um, okay, another embellishment right there. And then one more. So for those of you that just happened upon us after I started, um, we are making another project immediately following this one. Oh, I found that star. <laughs> We're making this next. It'll go much faster because I've already stamped everything. I'm just going to show you how to make the box. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have another project for y'all. So don't leave. So this is what we just made. That glare is, do y'all really not see a glare at all? I see it so bad. Oh, you all want to see the grandbaby now before I do the other one? Do y'all like this? I love it. It's a full moon. Is it seriously? Um, okay, I'm going to show y'all this video. It is like, and then I'll make the next project. Okay, let's see. Watch this. You have to listen. Let me turn the volume up. It's the sound that's so fabulous. You can't hear it. The volume's too low. I tried. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this. What fits in here? Okay, so um, wild blueberry and pistachio. It's like a breakfast bar. I get these online. They're really yummy. Uh, it will also hold, let me get, um, these are some apple and mango fruit bars also. 
there, there's no, the wrapper is much larger than the snack. So you can actually fold down the wrapper and it won't show through. It'll hold two of those. So it'll hold one of these and two of those. <laughs> okay, now we're going to make this one really quick. Uh, for those of you that weren't here earlier when I was explaining it, this was the paper pumpkin box for September. I assembled all of those um, the other night. So I did um, take that thing apart and figured out the measurements. And um, now we're going to make it. Except I have to find where did I, <laughs> where did I put it? I had it all cut and ready for y'all. You know, there it is underneath my, oh, I was going to show y'all my project box. So remember when I told y'all that when I start making a project, I just put everything in the box. And so, you know, my stamps were in here, my dies are in here. I just, yeah, when I start making something, I just put everything in here so that I know what supplies I need to make the project when I go live. And so... Yeah, this is, I got these on Amazon. They're really awesome. They're stackable. It keeps me organized. So here's our supplies for the second project. And I'm going to put the measurements on the screen. The PDF will not be available tonight. It will be um, tomorrow. So here's the measurements. Okay. So first we're going to make the drawer, which is this, okay? And that's this piece here. Uh, and the measurements are wrong, or are they? The measurement's wrong. I should just take it off there. See, I knew I was trying to rush. <laughs> the measurement of this is nine and a half by eight. I'm not real sure what I just showed y'all. Wait, let me look at that again. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, like I said, you'll get the template tomorrow. This is a bonus project, so oh, I'm a hot mess. On the nine and a half inch side, we're going to score this at two and three eighths, two and three eighths, three and three eighths, four and three eighths, six and seven eighths, seven and seven eighths, and eight and seven eighths. Then on the eight inch side, we're going to score it at a half an inch. I know y'all can't see that up there, can you? Sorry about that. Half an inch, one and a half, and two and a half. And we're going to do that on both sides. I'm fixing to lose my cool. The spam is back. I don't understand. So sorry guys, the spammer's back again. I guess they just cre keep creating accounts. I reported and blocked it and everything. Okay, so. Thank you Helen and Vicky. so they both blocked it. Um. They all say message deleted. Yeah, I, I looked up really quickly, and uh, yeah, it's the same person, just just, just using different profiles. Um, okay, so a half an inch, one and a half, and two and a half. 
you know, that kind of activity is not even allowed on YouTube, so I don't even know how they're getting away with that. It's very disruptive. So I'm going to fold on all the score lines, burnish with my bone folder. So Karen says she didn't get it after, um, after she reported the first one. They've done it three times now. That's three times I've had to stop what I was doing and report them because they've, they've changed their name, their profile three times. Okay. This is a lot of score lines, right? When you're making this box, if you make it, please pay close attention to the details and the way that you do that is you have this this side here um, so what I'm gonna do <laughs> to make my life easier since I am live um, I'm gonna take my template that I created and place it on top and then I'm just gonna flatten this Let me get it like this okay so I can see that I cut it exactly right and I'm going to take my my pen and I'm just going to draw a line through the areas that I need to cut out. And that's going to make this a lot easier. Like when you're making your first one, uh, you won't have the luxury of doing this. But make yourself a template or use mine. It's not true to size though. The, the templates I make are not true to size. But hopefully you make yourself a template like this afterwards. And then that way you can mass produce it. Uh, the way that we know it's the same person is their screen name is just slightly different each time. Yeah, they just change it just slightly. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes, but it's well worth the wait, right? I think. Yeah, I never really understand the purpose of why spammers do that. Do they actually get people to fall for their for their stuff? I don't think so. Okay, now, these two here. And then after I trim these two off, we have to get the template back out again because there's additional steps that we need to take. So, she just realized all of a sudden she was calling during my live. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done. Notice here, we've got this section here. And then, uh, um, what we want to do now is trim here, okay? So, I'm going to cut up and do the same thing over here, except i got to turn it over. And then I've got to do the same thing up here, except I just got twisted. So I'm going to cut here and here, okay? Uh-oh, wait. Did I do the wrong? Hold on. See what I mean about getting all twisted and turned around? No, I did it. Wait. Did I do it right or did I do it wrong? Okay. This goes over here. Whew, I did it right. Man, that was scaring me we are done now if you want to make the little hole there we're gonna do that after we assemble the box one more thing we're gonna trim these tabs just a smidge not very much And then we want to angle cut all these little half inch pieces. The only one we're not going to angle cut is that one. OK, 
okay? Now, let's compare. We've got this longer section here that's over on the right. So everything lines up. We're good to go. Now we can assemble it. Next, we got to do the cover. So we're going to fold these in. And then fold this over and down. And then this down and this down. <laughs> And this comes over, folds in. It's a tight fit because you don't have to use any adhesive. Okay, there's our little drawer. You can use adhesive on the tab if you want to. Um, now, I'm going to take my retired one-inch circle punch you don't have to notch these out, but if you want to, you can. So there's our little drawer. Now we're going to make the lid. I got all the pieces here to finish this project real quick. Oh, I've, I've gone over an hour. Sorry about that. We're almost done. Now for this one, we have, we have to use our paper trimmer to score it because we're using sixteenths. So I'm gonna tell you uh, where that sixteenths measurement is. Okay, so this measures three, three and an eighth by eight and one sixteenth. We're gonna score it at two and seven sixteenths and the two, the seven sixteenths, two and seven sixteenths is the teeny tiny mark before the two and a half. Okay, so that's the first score line. Then we're going to score it at three and a half, six inches, and then seven and one sixteenths. And the seven and one sixteenths is the first tiny mark after seven. Thanks, Lori. Okay, while I'm folding this and burnishing, um, how do you scare a snowman? With a hair dryer. <laughs> We're going to put adhesive on this strip here and fold this over. And then there is your box. See? Yay, I did it! Now we're going to add our vellum, our beautiful vellum here. Which side is the embossed and which side is the debossed? Not real sure. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to use glue dots to attach it. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that were watching me the other night try to assemble that box, uh, that was a hot mess, right? Maybe that's my normal now. Just hot mess Angie. Although I better be careful about saying the word hot. Maybe that's what's attracting that spammer. Okay. There we go. You can add more adhesive uh, if you feel the need to, but most of this is getting covered up with our image, so it's not that big of a deal. So we're going to add this circle to our scallop circle. I love my circles. And then we're going to pop that up with a dimensional. Where are my dimensionals? I have a whole system of organization, and then somehow when I'm live, everything just kind of goes everywhere, like a mad scientist. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to read another joke. What do you call a snowman in summer? A puddle. <laughs> a 
Um, now we're going to add an embellishment. And we're using the just rhinestones. And I love our rhinestones. I'm going to be traumatized or so sad if they ever retire them because I use them on so many of my projects. And then if I can find our little bird, I'm going to add him. But I might have swooped him in the floor, so we'll see. What do y'all think? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I just I realized that I must have forgot to add his little necktie on this dude. Huh. We'll add it now. I was looking for the little birdie and, um, and found the necktie. Is that what y'all call that, a necktie? <laughs> okay. Black dimensionals. Go back in the dimensional. Scissors. Go back in the scissor. Bone folder goes back in the there. And yes, my little bird is gone. He flew away. Oh, well. Y'all have seen it. You know it looks good, right? So what questions can I answer now? Thank you. They're so cute. Um, what do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Is this right? That's not right. I wrote the wrong answer down. I really don't know. What do you get? To be continued. I have no idea. I wrote the wrong answer down. <laughs> uh, Brooke. She thinks I'm done. Uh, I'm going to look back and see if I missed any questions. If I did not see your question, you are welcome to email me. Um, I've lost my little thingy. Here's my email. Yeah, there's my email. If I missed your, is the bird inside your middle box? I found this on the web. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know. It's probably stuck to me. It's okay. Here, Here's all the projects I made tonight. Yeah. Uh, what did I put in the little slider box? I actually put some quilting pins in here. Uh, what I'll do is, is I, I've got a little stash of candy. So it's the same size as the paper pumpkin. It might be a smidge bigger than the paper pumpkin one. Um, so I've got a little drawer here that I can try a few things. Um, so like a spool of thread. Oh, that's nice. It'll hold several spools of thread. So our fill thread, it'll hold three of those in here. Uh, Snack-wise, it'll hold, let's see how many of these it'll hold. That's the thing about this box too, is that this one will also hold, I think, five. Let's see. One, two three, four. Actually, it holds four of the little Reese, Reese things. Re miniature Reese cups. So this box will hold two miniatures. Yeah. It'll also hold a little um, hand sanitizer. Mmm, strawberry pound cake. You can tell I'm hungry tonight. It will also hold Ghirardelli chocolates. Mmm, sea salt. That's my favorite one. Uh, it'll hold some washi tape. It's the sky's the limit with this little box. It will hold a lot of stuff. Oh, you're right, frostbite. That's okay. So, Becky, thank you. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so this little box will hold a, hold a lot of really neat little things. 
Oh, you've never seen the miniature wrapped ones? Hmm. I got them in a big, I got a bunch of them. So I don't know where though, but yeah, I have a bunch. Um, okay. So individually shortbread cookies. So you, yeah, you can put, um, Hershey nuggets in here, shortbread cookies. I actually have a pack of shortbread cookies. Mine are a little too long. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Yeah, just bring that wrapper up. Yeah, the little shortbread cookies fit in there, too. There's so much that will fit in this little box. It's a keeper. And I'm so glad I figured out the template, right? Some of y'all saw me on Saturday uh, figure that template out. I think the measurements that I used that night uh, are not the same measurements I used tonight. I had to tweak it a bit. Um, <laughs> Cynthia says the spammer knows that David's away. Um, do I still have the Biggs Matchbox die? Uh, Pamela, I don't know. I think so, because I think, I don't think I got rid of any of my Biggs dies because I'm one of those people that keep waiting for things to cycle back around and I want, you know, like Bell Bottoms came back. I really want the Biggs dies to come back because we can use the Biggs dies with fabric. These framelits, I just can't use them with fabric. They're just too thin. It just, it's not... It doesn't work. So, yeah, I probably have it, but it's probably in storage. Um, let's see. I'm just going back now and, and um, seeing if I missed any. Um, okay, for those of you that are still here, yeah, there's. I'm going to show you all a picture of Olivia on a Sunday. I haven't posted it on my blog yet, but I'm going to. Look at this picture. This is me hold this is I was holding her. She had like a little smile. Oh, I just love her so much. I could just I could just steal her. Look at this one. <laughs> okay, uh my next video is going to be on Friday and we will be sharing week 10, right? Oh, week 10 of the 12 weeks of Halloween. So we're almost done. Yeah, it's almost over. Sad face. Um, and then on put the host code back up. We'll do. Here is my current host code if you're interested. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, please. Pretty please. Um. And give me a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, don't forget to get my die. Thank you. You're right. Don't forget to get my little birdie. Um, you know what? I'm going to write it on my hand, actually. Except I'm going to write bird. If I write die, somebody might think that, um, oh, I got to take that off there. Sorry about that. I wrote die on my a bird on my hand because I didn't want to write die. That looks that sounds too morbid, right? Any other questions before I sign off? Um, I knew that I was going to have. Um, okay, so Cat says, "Oh, a mini moon pie." I don't have any mini moon pies. Tell me where y'all get them. Somebody said that the other day that the little mini moon pie will fit in here. I need to go get some mini moon pie. I remember a time where a lot of people didn't even know what a moon pie was. Those were very popular when in the South when I was a kid. Um, so Kat says, can you add a tea bag with the shortbread? I think so. Um, let's see if I have a tea bag in this candy dandy drawer of mine. I don't have a tea bag in here. Anybody got a tea bag they can? Well, you don't have the thing. I'm pretty sure it will though, because a tea bag 
How wide is a tea bag? Kat, are you there? Do you have the width of a tea bag? Because this measures two and a half inches wide. I'm pretty sure it would. Yeah. I did wear bell bottoms. Okay, the Dollar Tree has mini moon pies. Okay, I'll have to go to the Dollar Tree. Um, Kat, are you still here? I was going to see if you could measure uh, the width of a tea bag. I have a bunch of them upstairs. Uh, Denise, the box measurements. Um, the box measurements for this one are ready, and they'll go on my blog tonight. The box measurements for this one is going to have to be tomorrow. I don't even have a picture of this yet. So I'll, this one will be tomorrow. This one will be tonight. This one's already done. I just got to do the blog post. <laughs> okay, I don't see, I don't see that she's here. I'll check the measurements and when I do the blog post on this one, um, I'll let y'all know if a tea bag fits in there. Yeah. In fact, that's a good picture to take with the little shortbread in there. It brings in the little, the, the ties the red together, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. See you later. Oh, give me about 45 minutes uh, to get the uh, blog post done, okay? See you later.